Sex and Spirituality An excerpt from Sex Dimensions Beyond the Norm Sex is natural, spontaneous and the very source of all life. There are things and states beyond it, beyond all that you have known about it. Beautiful spaces beyond it are also there. Sex brings joy and misery too. Both joy and misery is mixed with sex because sex is a mixture of the heaven and the earth and body and soul. Therefore, sex brings both joy and misery. It gives you wings one moment and cuts off your wings next moment. One moment it brings ecstasy and next moment you have fallen into a deep agony. One moment you are on the summit peak and next moment you are groaning in a dark valley. Sex brings both. Going beyond this is the ultimate flowering of your being. Sex is not an end in itself. Instead, sex is the beginning of the journey, of which the ultimate flowering is the culmination. To progress, more steps are required. One in whom sex is transformed and has attained the ultimate neither encourages sex nor does he condemn it. He has simply tried to make sense and give meaning to it. A new meaning, a new understanding, a new vision, a new light. And a process which is basically directed towards finding a meaning is essentially spiritual in nature. Generally, sex is either condemned or taken for granted. There is hardly any conscious effort to know what it means. What is this universal creative energy? Spirituality is all about search for the meaning, meaning of that which is, why it is, and why it is the way it is. And in that search for the meaning, one automatically sees that which is meaningless. Seeing the meaninglessness, one intelligently drops all that is meaningless. As far as sex is concerned, on one hand we are culturally blind in not seeing what sex is. And on the other hand, we are meaning blind, that is not knowing what this life energy means. A different kind of intelligence is necessary to know what sex is all about. How to deal with this energy spiritually. Both sex and spirituality may look to be different and separate, but essentially they are interconnected. Perceptions may differ, but intrinsically they are not opposites. They are not antagonistic. They are not in conflict with each other. Rather they are part of a continuing, an inner search, inward journey. While sex is basically universal life energy, a creative, a healing energy, or simply creativity, spirituality is a miraculous alchemy. It is the ultimate manifestation of transformation. Seeing this clearly is necessary for us to making it easier to explore briefly 
the mysteries of sex and spirituality. Sex is not created or manufactured by us. It is actually a gift from the Divine. It is God's gift to enjoy, celebrate and ultimately transform so that one day you can go beyond it, beyond all the quagmires, beyond all the mysteries that sex brings with it. And yet almost universally we apply double standard in accepting it as a given reality. We show untrue, a hypocritical and a rather schizophrenic attitude towards sex. Next to God, sex is most widely misunderstood subject. If God is a myth, sex is a reality. But both are widely misunderstood subject. And if I were to replace the word God with the spirituality, then next to spirituality, sex is the most misused term. Sages have seen sex as a spiritual and spirituality as a sublime form of that existential bioenergy that we know and deny as sex energy. It is seen as orgasmic union, enlightenment, the dissolving of male-female, yin and yang polarity, the transformation of this creative energy into spirituality can be accomplished through a miraculous alchemy of meditation. Indeed, sex is the energy. It has nothing to do with biology alone. So I will not say sexual energy because there is no other energy. Energy is one. It is neutral. It is we who give it various names and also door through which it is manifesting. When this existential bioenergy exhibits through the lowest door, it is known as sex energy. The lowest door in the human psychology is the earth center. When it exhibits itself through that center, it is known as sex energy. There are three basic lower doors, the earth center, the water center and the fire centers. According to the Indian system of chakras, they are known as Muladhar, Swadishthan, the water center, Muladhar, the earth center, and the fire center. The location of these, the first earth center, is at the end of the Cossix. The second center is located around genitals, and the third center is located around navel. All these belong to the three lower centers of the human spiritual psychology. The energy has to be released from these centers and when it is released from these centers it reaches the heart center. Then comes the three higher centers. The emotions related to these three centers are known as lower emotions or you can say the negative emotions and when the energy from the three lower centers merges and overflows towards the next center that is the fourth, the heart center, tremendous 
love energy is born in you. The sex, love is freed from sex then. Then comes the fifth center which is, the location is at the throat center. It is a center of great exp expression. When energy reaches at this center, there is tremendous urge to express it through your actions, through your words, through your gestures, through everything that you do. Then comes the next center, which is the sixth center. It lies between the two eyes. It is known as the third eye center. There is nothing like these centers can doors can be found in the physiology. Instead, these are these form the part of the third body. The third eye means the vision of understanding. And when vision of understanding comes, the expression follows. But without getting the vision of understanding which is represented through the third eye, if you go into the expression, creates tremendous problems and it is at this level various your fake gurus create problems for the humanity. They have not understood the crux of this matter and somebody reads something and starts sharing it. First a transformation has to happen within you the energy which is trapped at the earth center has to be released. All the three centers, the lower, the lower emotions which creates the problem of ego, anger, jealousy, hatred, doubts. At this level it remains the same way. But at the level of the next three centers, the heart center, throat center and the third eye center, doubt is of a different nature. The same emotions attain a different level of understanding. All these centers go in pairs, togetherness. The three lower centers, the earth, water and fire are together the heart center, the center of expression, the center of supreme understanding, they go in together. But then when all these centers, doors are crossed and energy reaches the confluence, it reaches the crown center, which is lone, there is no companion, there is nothing there. It is a center that stays by itself. When there is a deep understanding and way of expression, then the last center opens on its own accord. This is the center of transformation. Indeed, the sex energy which is trapped at the earth center through your meditations can be released from there and reach the other centers from where it will again begin to overflow to go further. Let us put it this way here. If there is a piece of land that has certain holes, the water is flowing. In the passage of the flow of the water, if there comes a deep hole, the water will stop going beyond that hole. It will continue to fill that hole first. When the first hole is full, then the water will start overflowing and it will move towards the next hole. When the next hole, the second hole is full, then the water will begin to overflow from that Hole to the next one and the process continues. Something like this happens with the energy. Energy first has to be released 
from the first center, the earth center. It can happen through your acts of love making if there is meditativeness, if there is understanding and you are within the energy field of the master. His energy can help you to release the energies from those trapped centers. This is why the company of the masters, the communion, he may, you may go by him, he may engage you in a simple act, but it is working on your deep centers. Energy begins to release where it is trapped begins to flow towards the other centers. I have found that not many people are interested in my silence. If I become silence, the people will completely cut off. Maybe a rare person, a rare two may be interested in that silence. But then millions all over the world are interested in whatever I speak. It is the expression of the same energy through gestures, through choice of words, through the gaps between the two words. It creates a musical harmonica, a musical symphony. The same energy is expressing itself through the gestures, through the voice modulation, through the gaps. And that begins to work with you. Many are interested in that, in all that has been expressed in black and white. But then when you are reading all that is written black and white, you are analyzing it through your own mind, interpreting it yourself, giving your own meaning. But then when you come to attend to these sessions, there are two forms of it, live. In live, once I start speaking, you have to remain focused, glued with your attention because this is a life book. You are communed here at my will and pleasure. You will remain glued as long as this overflow continues. It has a great transforming effect. But then when this audio is presented in the form of video, and it is uploaded on various devices, there is a slight modic modification. The voice modulations, the effects are improved. It is edited. But then when you are listening to these videos, you listen at your own convenience. You may begin one conversation one talk in between while you are listening your phone rings you answer the call or you engage in something else you are listening at your own pleasure that is why i have mentioned many times when you are listening to these videos make them a live communion you are listening to it live just as you are listening to this live talk, when you listen to these modified audios and the videos that are being uploaded, in the same way as if it is a live talk of Tao Shu Buddha, it will have a greater effect. And that is the reason that I have been uploading these videos so that people world over can be benefited by it even when I am not alive physically. But you have to listen to these 
in the same way as if you are sitting in the live communion and I am speaking to you live then it will make a lot of difference to you indeed it is the transformation of this basic existential bioenergy which is when released through the door of the earth center or the water center or the fire center it is known as sex this energy can be transformed not can be transformed it is to be transformed at this stage of its manifestation where it is manifesting through the earth center it is baser however when it is transformed it becomes the higher energy the higher it moves the less and less sexuality remains in it it becomes more and more subtle and there is an end that is the peak where it simply becomes love and compassion the ultimate flowering we can call divine energy but the base the seed remains sex so sex is the first bottom layer of the energy and God or love is the topmost layer of the same energy or the same ladder but the same energy moves or we can say sex is the lowest rung or the layer of the ladder that takes you to the sunny peak of your consciousness and God is the highest round or the layer of this energy. Below sex there is darkness of ignorance and other attributes of mind. However beyond God there is the sunlit peak of consciousness. This is beyond enlightenment. At that peak there is awareness, there is suchness, there is perennial bliss, there is harmony and there is oneness. This is the process of transformation of this baser energy that we come to know as sex. My Cooking classes is also a part of transformation process of that energy. Because at the level of the cooking, there is no conflict among anyone. As far as when I am speaking, I may speak through one perspective because somewhere or the other a perspective has to be used. If it is a Hindu perspective, it does not attract the Christian, it does not attract the Muslim, it does not attract the Jews, it does not attract the Sikhs, so on and so forth. But nobody has conflict when it comes to a tasty dish made by a Hindu, Muslim, Christian, agnostic, atheist, theist, we are all interested in the tasty dishes. Therefore, cooking classes are the centers of meditation. Everybody is interested in cooking, having a tasty dish in front of them, but they do not know it is the trick of the masters. Transform your energy from baser to the higher. Only this much for this morning.